Uh, top five movies. Uh, I'm jump off. Go ahead, jump off uh, with my number five. Wonder Woman. She's my favorite on-screen hero uh, out of everybody. And, like every time I watch that movie, a certain part I just get chills. Like when she first puts the uh the uh, the verses together, that like the no man's land scene, and like I love it. Like, I really really love that fucking movie. I probably seen it. How many times I saw it in theaters? I've how many times I've probably seen it just in general. I love I love Wonder Woman. It's fair. I don't think any of us here can can argue with that. Like it is a great movie, dialogue, and from a cinematic standpoint, like we can't argue with that. Like that's that's a, that's a great movie. It is yeah, very much so. So number five, oh, out of your book, cuz my boy Will Smith, Pursuit of Happiness is my. <laughs> Listen, movie like when I thought about like movies that I've watched, and, like, had an effect. so I put movies in two categories: movies that I can watch over and over again, and movies that are like so good, so rememberable. I don't have to watch them again because I literally remember it from start to finish. Pursuit of Happiness. It's, I've probably watched it two or three times in my life. Like I don't have to rewatch. Every time I see it, it's like oh, I watch. I remember that whole. It's a great movie. So Pursuit of Happiness, Will Smith, your boy, number five. I'm going to hold off anything I have to say about the movie. It's a late on corner. Okay. <laughs> Understandable. Understandable. Oh. Uh, might as well start the train now. Uh, Marvel, Civil War. Out of all the Marvel movies, out of all the MCU ones, I feel like it's not only the most complete movie from start to finish, I'm able to handle it standalone as well. But I feel out of all of them, it's probably the one I've rewatched the most. And that's saying something. I feel like Infinity War, you know, Endgame, they're great movies, but they're a bit too long to always constantly rewatch. They're great, don't get me wrong. But just the tension and everything going up, we did have some build up with the characters, introduction of new characters. I mean, Civil War introduces the Black Panther and Spider Man in one shot. I mean,. I got Civil War, number five. Nothing against that at all. Nothing, nothing against that at all. Number Great five, explanation, too. Number five for me, and I say this with little regret because it should be higher. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like my brother over here. I'm gonna take a page from Big Dog. I'm gonna have to say Independence Day. I fucking love Independence Day. That's one movie I can rewatch and know everything and then watch it again and I'll be happy with it. Independence Day, Will Smith, bro, he did that shit. Him and uh, I mean, you can't name? argue with that. Let's let's be no. real. Will Smith movies can be all of our top five movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I, I I really really like I really love Independence Day and like I remember when I first watched it, I was just like, damn, like this shit is getting fucked up. Like I I, I didn't like I had always heard about it. I think I I was really late watching Independence Day, so when I ended up seeing it, I was just like, shit. Well, fucking, we gonna punch the alien in the face, <laughs> like like it's just, <laughs> yo, that's, that's that's a great one. That's a great one. Even though Fred still haven't seen it, but we're talking about that on the other side. My number four, yeah. <laughs> I think the last 30 minutes of it, thank you very much. <laughs> Not the same. Not the same. Oh, uh, my number four is The Dark Knight Rises. Oh. Wow. Man, I listen, man. Bane, Batman, Catwoman, which is my favorite depiction of Catwoman. I know a lot of people love Michelle Pfeiffer. And had to. <laughs> Did he leave? Did he leave? <laughs> Yo, the Dark Knight Rises for me is is, is, is my shit, man. I, I I like I like a badass villain, and Bane is definitely that. Took over the whole city, like this, like the scene where he tells like you know tell the people who, and he just snaps the guy's neck. Like, everything about it, like every speech is so many quotables from it. 
Dark Knight Rises is number four, man. Dark Knight Rises is good. I, I no arguments that. here. Like, I think the thing about that movie that made all of those movies really to make them great is like they could have easily been standalone movies. Like they didn't have to be trilogies. Like that movie yeah. stands on its own. It doesn't need the first two thing. So yeah, it's a great pick. Great pick. Um what are we on, number four? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, some of y'all may not have seen this movie. I'm going to uh go to the, the mushy side of myself. Oh, okay. My number four movie. Like, this could have easily been my number one. Traveler's Wife. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. That is a great fucking movie. When, so like, when, when, when I thought about my all time favorites, like there were three movies that came to mind and I kind of had to reorder them. Even though this was number four, this one I knew was going on the list. Got Rachel McAdams, Eric Banner. It's, it's, it's not even it's a romantic, it's not even a comedy. You couldn't even call it a rom com. It's just a nope. great story, great dialogue. Like, it is a fantastic. I have not seen it. It is tragic, but it's good. Right. Tragic, but good. Like, it's kind of like a happy, a bittersweet type in there. But I'm not going to get into it. But Time Travel's Wife is my number four. Oh, my gosh. I feel so bad that I forgot about that movie. Like, on my top five, I get, oh, definitely, like, yes. Like, you talked about, like, I don't own a lot of movies. That's one of them. I, I own it, it, too. That's what I'm saying. I own that movie, too. Yep. Every movie on my list, I own it. Not a lot of movies I own. Yeah, in every movie on my list, I own. But yeah, I I, I own that movie. Nope, never seen. On DVDs, not even like Blu-ray. Like it's on like this. <laughs> on DVD. Yeah. 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 I'm, 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 I'm doing a lookout for it. It's gonna come so strange or something like that. All right, legit. All right, so we're what uh, number four, and this is just. The fanboy in me a bit. It's a bit of something that everybody loves here, as far as I know. Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. I have to put some Star Wars seeing Anakin turn. It's the most emotional point to me. It is the best Star Wars movie. Uh, we've had this discussion before. That's just my opinion on it. Not an opinion. It has the best... <laughs> It has the best fight scene in all of fucking Star Wars. Anakin versus Obi-Wan, say what you want. And at the same time, you're seeing Yoda fight Sidious. That's the climactic turning point, everything. Like, well, you got to explain yourself. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That's, that's, that's as far as I go. Revenge of the Sith, uh, number four. And again, disclaimer, uh, every movie on this list is subject to change minus the number one. I have nothing against you. I have nothing against Revenge of the Sith being your top five, brother. <laughs> Live on, man. Live on. All right, Angelo, what you got for number four? <laughs> number, my number four, and this is for people who don't know, who are going to watch the video who don't know, I am mixed, half white, half Mexican. And my number four movie will have to go to a movie called Blood In, Blood Out. I know y'all two don't know. Freddy, Freddy might have heard of it. Legit Anime might have heard of it. I've seen it. It's awesome. To me, Funny as fuck. blood in, blood out, about those locals for life. That's my number four, man. I, I, I'm gonna have to look that one up. I've never, never seen it. I, I still want that part from that part. I don't you, know you've why. You've seen it, Moses. You've I'm seen thinking it. that's like, that sounds like a Rambo movie to me for some reason. No. It's, no. It's a uh, <laughs> Los Angeles themed uh, Mexican gangsters and everything, but like, it's, it's one of the, it's one of the, it's one of the movies I own. I have two copies. One is an open copy, and the other one's uh, still in the plastic wrap. I have, I have, I have two. One for us to watch. I've and make. Definitely seen that movie. I've yes, you have. I've definitely seen that movie. Can't remember it. But it's played multiple years, times at Andrew's place. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's just, seen that movie. To me, it's one. That's my top four. Okay. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead. I ain't never seen yeah. that shit. I've seen it. I, I don't know where I saw it, but I know I've seen it all the way through, too. Uh, I don't know why I feel like I've seen that at school. That's probably wrong, but still. No, 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 no. You have um, not seen it at school. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you haven't. <laughs> Wait a minute. I might not see this movie. This movie is five hours and 30 minutes. 
I have not seen this movie. I just lied, everybody. I have not seen this movie. Will y'all watch this whole movie? Yeah, a lot. I've seen it over the girl house. That's how I found out Man, about it. I, if I it watch it I 10 times, minutes. I'm probably about dead. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. No, no. I, 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 ain't, I ain't got five. I ain't got five and a half hours with me. You got Titanic, haven't you? Who? You've Titanic ain't five and a half. I've That's seen Titanic. Forward. Just hang uh, in there right quick. Just right quick. Just right quick. Uh, the movie. I'm just going. I just literally just go to that quick. Eight out of ten out of IMDb. Five out of five out of Barnes and Noble. Rotten Tomatoes doesn't like it, but ninety five percent like this movie yeah. of Google users. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty. I'm pretty People sure like they it. didn't finish it. Oh my God! Damn. I might have seen it uh, thirty minutes. Of it. I know I don't love y'all, but listen. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all my number three. Don't disappoint some people. Cause I know a lot of people think this movie deserves to be higher, and it really does. But it's the Lion King. Hey, it's on your list. It's on your yeah. list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's on your list. Like, yeah, we can't. Right. Yeah, we can't knock that. We can't. The, 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 the number one animated film to this day, in my view, like the most emotional one. The, mu- the best music, everything about it, great feeling. We all know. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to explain anything. anything. And where do we feature? Just listen. Now, to I, you. now just be in the front, just mentioning this, because this is going to be something. Long King's actually my number six. Just let you know. It didn't make it my top five for other reasons. But, yes, shout out, honorable mentions, Lion King. For everybody that's missed the person. You know I'm saying? judging everybody the fuck out of you person. right now, Fred. Like, Same. Oh, I'm aware. Hey, hey. I'm aware. I'm aware. It's okay. Y'all yeah, saying that, but we're going to see what y'all got to the rest of your club. Let me hear your number three. Number three. This this one was tough. Like I feel like for the TV shows, top three was was, was tough. Um, but this is a movie thing I've mentioned a lot. I own this movie on 4K Blu-ray. I watch it often. It's long, not five and a half hours long, but it's long. Um, Interstellar, it's that movie, Ooh. space, sci-fi. Ooh. It's a great story. The dialogue, the cinematics. I'm a science nerd, y'all know that. I like the science, I like a lot of the science is, is accurate or leaning towards accurate, like all around. It was tough to put that at three because I almost put it at two, but um, Interstellar, number three, great movie, love it. Yeah, I think, I think my first time watching it was uh, at Fred's house. Yeah, yeah, it is a great movie. Great movie. Honestly, it's in my top ten as well, just being honest. Uh, just being honest, it's in my top ten. But uh, uh, we're at number three now? Yep. Yeah. Yep. For me, it's actually the newest movie that's come out out of my list. And uh, it is uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Hands down, the best Spider-Man movie ever. Crossover multiverse. Uh, the music, the soundtrack has one of the best soundtracks in like recent history, recent memory. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Like honestly, I was de- I was debating on not wearing this headpiece and wearing my Spider-Man mask the entire time because of that movie. But um, being completely honest, it's 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 what it is. It is. Uh, and my number three because of again, again my, my list actually has a theme to it, and that's the reason why Lion King came in number six. But I'll explain it at the end. But yes, Spider Man number three for sure. I fucking love it. Great movie, great fucking movie. It's probably like right. one of the few Spider Man movies I like, really like. True, true. Okay, Shock for me, number three. Uh, let me say this first: Lion King's not on my list. But because that is a given light regardless, in my opinion. Like, if you don't like Lion King, something's wrong. Okay? And this is a personal list. And number three, y'all going to fucking be mad and be judging the hell out of me. And I don't care. We'll fight about this. But number three for me is Fault in Our Stars. I fucking love that movie. Yeah. Never seen it. I, it's, it's a chick flick. What it's is a, 
Fall in Falcon Star. Stars. I can't. No. Oh, I fucking love that movie, bro. I don't know why. <laughs> It hits, a, it hits a bit too close to home for me. It hits a little bit too close to home for me. I've never seen I it. understand that. It's like, oh, uh, look it up, look it up. I don't want to ruin it for anybody who's going to watch the video. But, like, it's not five hours long. I can tell you that. Yeah, I don't, I have never seen it. I don't think. Yeah, I've heard I you've never seen it. it. Like, I've heard. Uh, I, I talk about it all the time. I've heard them talk about it. I've just never seen it. Again, like I said, it's like again, like I, again, it hits you. It's a, I'm not gonna say it's not a good movie. It is a good movie, but for me, it hits a bit too close to home. I'm just not. Eh, I don't know. That's just basically me. It's a, it's a rom, it's a, it's a romance drama. I'm more of a rom um, com kind of guy. You know what I'm oh, me too. I, 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 it's just falling on stars, bro. It's just it has a very unsuspected ending and everything. It's just I was like, dang, great fucking cast too. Oh, I definitely recommend it. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like, it's two, it's two thirteen. I'm seeing my guy spare two twenty or two thirty. I'll knock it out. But speaking of two, my number two is the Dark Knight, man. The Dark Knight goes in the number two for your boy. The 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 quintessential Batman film. The one of the Best on screen depictions of the Joker. Yeah, I mean, what can you not love? Okay, what can you not? It's it's the Dark Knight. I mean, everybody knows the Dark Knight. I can't say nothing. Not, neither can I. It's, in, it's definitely in my I top ten. I can't argue with that. Yeah, I can't argue. Um, so we on two. Yeah. Two. Yep. So number two. This may shock y'all. This for me is the. The, the greatest, the best of uh, the superhero, anti-superhero, like whatever you want to call it, movie. It's my favorite. I think it's the best. It, it goes to the category I've literally only ever seen one time. And Fred is when we went to go see it. I've never, I own it on 4K Blu-ray and I've never owned it. My wife watch it without me because I couldn't watch it again. My boy, okay. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, yeah. I knew it. I, I knew that was on this list. I just didn't know where it was at. I knew it was on the list. I just didn't know where it was at. Logan, one of the Logan. greatest. He he he's my Marvel Superman. Like that's you know we we watched X Men Origins. You know the cartoons as a kid. Like when the movies came out, X Men and Lo like I've just. Watching that movie, Fred, we was he was in now. It was the best X Men movie, period. It, it got me, and it's for me like I think my my greatest superhero film. Like it's it. It was tough not to throw a Superman movie on there, just like out of bias for Superman. I, 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 I can throw Man of Steel on here, but like that would just be like because I'm a Superman fan. Like anything with Superman in it, I really enjoy. Um, I had to think about like story, cinematics. <sighs> Logan was tough. Yeah, Logan. You can argue. You can argue Logan's the greatest comic book of all time. I uh, and and you will have a valid argument. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's fantastic. Like all the way out, all the way throughout, and the most probably one of the ones show the most highest stakes were like shit's real. Like the, the emotional moments, especially at the end, where you know then you just think back to like uh, X Men, uh, where Wolverine. Where she told him like, "Yo, you gonna die with your heart in your hand," and it, and it wasn't even speaking literally. It was like it was speaking figuratively. He was holding, right. uh, her, he, he, she's holding his hand as he dies, man. It's yeah, I definitely cry just then. <laughs> yeah, that movie's tough. I've, I've literally only ever seen it one time. I've never seen it more. I just can't do it. I've, I've seen it more than one. I've seen more than one. I've never done. So, number two, this is actually a personal choice for me. Very, very personal. Uh, uh, this is, trust me, this one, you uh, you might have heard of it. I don't think you actually would have seen it too far. And I don't think, uh, for sure, it's not on anybody else's list. It's actually called Kiki's Delivery Service. Ah. Oh. Have y'all? Yeah. Okay. okay. But uh, for me, basically, it hits very close uh, to what I like because of the simple fact is it was the first anime movie that wasn't anime action. It introduced me to a new 
genre of anime, not just that in movie form and everything in general, it made me expand my horizons as far as that goes. Literally, I just love the movie, the pacing, everything in general, even the art style. Just amazing overall. Number two. Yeah, Kiki delivers so I I, was, I think one oh I forgot that we weren't separating uh movies. I am the one who actually even said that myself. But uh yeah, Kiki delivered I think what's the name still a little better for me or as animated uh anime films and that's probably uh a silent voice. Uh that movie made me cry like a like a fucking baby. Or like your name, you know what I'm saying? But like Kiki is like definitely like one of the one of the great all-time uh, anime films and films in general, if we're being honest. As long as you got for number two. Number two? Easy, baby. Easy. Let me ask y'all this. What is y'all's professions? I got to give it to 300. The first 300. I fucking love that movie. That movie yes. is just good to me. It is Sparta. I oh, kicked the shit out of old boy. <laughs> Okay. I can't believe that. I mean, you got to look at it. it it's just, I, I, I like it through and through. It, it, I'm hyped from beginning to end. Even when they yeah. die, they're like, oh, you killed 300. Okay. That's not even the main force. He was taking a walk. Remember that? Oh, boy, took a stroll with 300 people. That's gangster level right there, in my opinion. No disputing that. I love that movie. Yeah, it is, guys. Damn, it's Oh, so we uh, we died to have the number one. All right, Will Smith, come to us. Yeah, I mean, yeah, what's the point? I mean, uh, I said it earlier. It's pursuit of happiness. You know, I cry every <laughs> single time. Okay, it's what I live life for. At the end of, whenever I leave this planet, I want you to just one day I want people to be able to say, "Well, he died happy." Only thing yeah. I'm searching for in life is pure happiness. And this, that's it. When I, when, before I go, I want to have the same, that same clap in the middle of fucking Times Square with a whole bunch of people around me where it don't matter. At that moment, I know I, I'm experiencing pure bliss and just happiness. Dog, I fucking love that movie, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Fucking love that movie. Well, obviously, I love it. It was my number five. Like, it, it, you could easily interchange that, like, throwing them, like, it's just, it's a great movie. It gets me. Damn, that movie gets me every time. Um, my number one comes as no surprise. Like, I'm Lion King. Like, I can't, I got to do it. I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was going to, Lion King had, I just, I don't, I, I can't even explain my love for Lion King. Like, I, 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 I we, we watched it on VHS. Like, I, I, I when they re-released it in theaters, I bought it, and they re-released it on, like, digital diamond edition and I bought it again and they re-release it, Lion King 3D and I bought it again and like, I even own the live action version and it's shit. Like, I just <laughs> love, <laughs> love Lion King. Like, and you know, so, I can't remember what someone asked me, like, why do you love Lion King? So I was like, growing up as a kid, Simba was the only boy Prince Disney had. Like, who, who had his own story, like, you knew it, like, yeah, he's not Prince Charming, who, secretly, like, he got his own story. It's about him. And then lions are my favorite animals. Like, I, I love lions. It's my favorite animal. So, you can't. Great story. Timeless movie. My kids adore my daughter. My daughter at two. I think she, she's four. I think two the first time I uh, let her see it. She loves it. My son loves it. Like, it's. And they also hate the remake. Like, they, 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 oh, uh, <laughs> they won't, they won't see through it. I think we took them to theaters to see it after I walked out. They, they, they will not see through it. Like, they hate, like, it's gotta be live. Act. So, I don't think that's a surprise to, to any of y'all. Yeah, yeah, I knew mean, that was coming. Kind of, yeah, I'm definitely coming. Uh, so, number one, Dragon Ball Evolution. Fuck no! I'm just joking. Uh, easy pick. You sure already know what it is. I'm a huge Bat. I'm a huge Batman fan. It has to be the Dark Knight. Oh, I actually thought you were gonna go to Mask of the Phantasm. I thought you were gonna. It go has to, to be the, the Dark Knight. I was I was stuck between both of them. Uh, honestly, it's gonna be a Batman film no matter what. I was actually stuck yeah. between uh like multiple different Batman films. I was stuck between. The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises. I was stuck between The Mask of the Phantasm. I was stuck between like a bunch of these. But 
it could just be the fact Heath Ledger kind of got me, like, overall. Master of the Phantasm, to me, is basically a good completion to the animated series. And, I mean, I fucking love that shit, too. But it comes down to the Dark Knight, seeing it in live action, seeing it portrayed, Batman versus the Joker dynamic. It has to, it just, it just overtook it. And again, like I said, number one is always going to be one of those Batman movies. You already know. You already know. Yeah. Do, do I need to say anything about not my number one? Oh, well, okay. Huh? <laughs> huh? Do, yeah. do y'all even want to ask? Uh, I'm still I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, a Batman movie. It's, that's the Joker movie through and through, baby. Oh. Ooh. Come on. I will fight about it. Bro, um, don't, don't disrespect the bat. Yeah, I can't, oh, I can't yeah. argue. I'll, dis- I can't argue. I'll disrespect the bat. Y'all, y'all are joking, Batman's fan. And like, um, that movie makes my top ten. Like, it's definitely in my top ten. I just didn't put it in. I, I was a Heath Ledger Joker fan from the very first minute I saw that. The, 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 the very first scene with he's robbing the bank. That's one of my yeah. favorite things in the movie. It's my favorite openings in the all best TV. movie scenes in history. Yeah. I mean, and and like, I didn't know this till like after I watched it a couple of times. But like, most of, most of the scenes where he's where he's the Joker, all the good scenes we like are improvised by him. The the nurse scene where, where he's clicking it, he's looking around, he jumps when it blows up. That's all he's led as an actor. Like, how can you how can you beat someone who improvised and then made the movie better? Like he's like, yeah, I, 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 that movie, bro. I have no arguments against that. I mean, it was my number two. It was as you number one. It's my number two. You know my top ten, but did did make my top. I do want to say, honorable mention, taking it way back. This is also in my top ten. We probably shock y'all. The Land Before Time. Oh, oh, oh. The original, not all them remakes and bullshit. The very first. They had like Sim now. Yeah. <laughs> this shit, it's like Sim now, them bitches. The, the original Land Before Time. Yeah, I know these motherfuckers are supposed to die by now. <laughs> you, can't, you can't, you can't. I, I love those. We love those as a kid. So yeah, that's. Like, yeah, hell yeah. One second. Hell yeah. Can, we, can we just take a moment of silence for the voice actress of Ducky who actually died as a kid, abused yeah, by her dad? Yeah, yeah. Damn, man. Sorry, I just had to mention that because that makes that makes me sad, especially now that I'm a father. Sorry. Yeah. 